back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Josie and you can also know me as Sir Plains a lot from over on Instagram or TikTok. So go ahead and follow me. Today I wanted to show you all of my ugliest house plants because you know, there's nothing more humbling than having to see all of your house plants very near to death but let's get into the video now so if you've been following my instagram stories it will be of no surprise to you i don't think that this video was inspired by one plant and one plant only <laughs> and surprise surprise it's my fiddle leaf fig <laughs> i never understood why people hated on fiddle leaf figs so much oh this is wet hold on i never understood why people hated on fiddle leaf figs so much because when i bought it it was literally like the easiest plant ever for me it was actually my flatmate that was looking after this plant for several months and then i came back and i moved it to a different house the house that i am in now and it just started dropping leaves and looking like this basically so it did not like being moved at all i think what didn't help was also the fact that i had it in the conservatory for a while where the temperature tends to fluctuate quite a bit so i think that was another thing that it didn't like and now you can see that pretty much all of the leaves are on their way out they're just like bye bye i'm out of here yeah so that's quite disappointing i thought that i was the fiddle leaf fig wizard i was wrong <laughs> i think what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna propagate uh the top two leaves the newest leaves because those look relatively healthy still um but the rest of the plant i'm just gonna have to let go i kind of just want to throw it out straight away to just be done with it but I'm trying to be reasonable here so <laughs> it is now a couple of days after i filmed the video and um I feel like I should give you an update on my fiddle leaf fig because he is not doing well. <laughs> so, here he is. Isn't he just gorgeous? Basically what happened was that most of the leaves just decided to fall off um, and the top leaves that I thought would be healthy enough to be propagated are just yellowing off and on their way out. This one is just, I don't know what this one is doing, but basically things are not good in the hood. Things are indeed very bad in the hood. Hi Lilo, you're not supposed to be on the kitchen counter. What did I tell you? Get off, get off. Anyway, this is what we're working with. Um, I officially hate all fiddly fix. Okay, end of announcement. Thank you, goodbye. The next plant is this Monstera Adansonii. I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is the Lantiana. It's definitely not the monkey mask version because it's not as textured. The leaves aren't as textured as they are on the monkey mask. Either way, this is what it looks like. <laughs> It's definitely not the most aesthetically pleasing plant I've ever seen. Um, funny story, okay. So I actually got this as a giant, giant, giant plant, uh, but unfortunately that plant had spider mice and then it got a bacterial infection. So I had to cut it back completely. So I propagated all of the leaves, all of the notes, and then I had to give most of them away because I was moving over here. But yeah, so I was kind of waiting for this plant to start doing something something it started putting out new leaves um but it's, def it's definitely nowhere near being as glamorous as it was when i first bought the plant but you know just give it some time and hopefully one day one day we'll get there hopefully we shall see <laughs> what do you think this is huh give me your best guess <laughs> So this is actually a philodendron micans. Um, if you saw my my flatmate looked after my plants video, um, this was featured in there. Uh, I have cut it back since uh, because it was just a long boy full of tiny leaves. So I decided to propagate it. And once the leaves are propagated, I'm gonna plug them back in to have a fuller plant. Um, but basically what happened to this plant was that it was a two leaf cutting when I first got it and uh, those two leaves just died off, but we got a new stem coming out. It's not the healthiest plant, I'll admit, but again, we're working on it, okay? This is definitely a work in progress. 
This next plant I have also already featured on my channel and it is the Calathea White Fusion. Again, if you saw one of my previous videos, you would know the story behind this, but basically I bought it as a two leaf cutting with these crispy ass two leaves over here. Um, and it had spider mites. Uh, since then I have managed to grow these three leaves. Um, so like the new plant is looking amazing. I gotta, I gotta admit, but um, it's still kind of like, you know, these crispy leaves. I don't know if I should just cut them off or if I should wait for a miracle, but um, this is what the plant looks like. And you know, we're getting there, but it's still looking, still looking a little bit sad, isn't it? <laughs> the next plant also has previously been featured on my channel, channel? on my channel and uh, it's the philodendron varicosum. Again, this was in really rough shape when I bought it and the leaves are just not getting any better. The old leaves are just dying off a little bit every single day. <laughs> but we do have some new growth coming in. Um, I have a little baby, baby, baby varicosum leaf over here and there's also new growth coming in here as you can see. So again, we will get there, I'm sure, but at the moment it's kind of like, when you look at this plant, you're just like, this plant has seen some shit. The next plant also has been previously featured is this Calathea roseopicta cora. It used to be a lot bigger when I got it, but the, a couple of the leaves just died off. And uh, I haven't been taking the best care of this plant either, just because this one time it had its leaves curling. So I watered it, even though it didn't need to be watered and uh that probably wasn't a good idea again just not the most impressive plant she's gonna she's gonna get there i just gotta give it a lot of a lot of lot of time and care the next plant is this uh skin dapsis trubii moonlight um let's let's talk about this one okay so when i got the plant it was a two leaf cutting uh it had this leaf this was one of the leaves and one other leaf that is no longer with us when i got it this leaf was ripped uh, but this leaf was still unfurled and it was looking beautiful and healthy um then i brought it with me over to the uk <laughs> And I unfortunately left it um, in a prop box for too long and it got some heat damage because it was in the conservatory. So yeah, right now the plant is looking very, very sad, which is unfortunate. The worst part is that it is taking forever to grow. Like I've had this growth point for literally ever since I got the plant and it's it still hasn't done anything. Why are you growing so slow? <laughs> Again, hopefully one day I'll have a beautiful skin dapsis moonlight, but at the moment, this is, this is what we've got to work with, unfortunately. And I saved the best for last because this plant is definitely the saddest plant in my collection. And it is my Alocasia capria. <laughs> I already bought it when it looked like this. Um, I got it for really cheap as a rehab project. So not, it, this isn't, you know, 100% my doing, but it definitely looks like the saddest little plant I have ever seen. It can't even stand up on its own. So the guy that sold it to me had to put this little thing around it so that it wouldn't just go bloop. <laughs> but good news. Okay, I recently noticed that we've got a little growth point coming in over here. So some things are happening. It's probably gonna take a while before, you know, it looks like a proper plant again, but in the meantime, I just get to, I just get to look at this beauty. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope that this video made you feel better about some of your plants that aren't looking their best. I definitely thought that this was a good idea to kind of bring the expectations down because it's not always fun and games with plants. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe, all of that good stuff. Also, feel free to follow me on Instagram or TikTok. It's a plant a lot, and I'll see you here for my next video. Bye!